Well, you know, when when we got that far along, I already had books out. I'm a motivational speaker, so I've I had had overtures from other folks to make a movie about my life story. Uh, it wasn't until select films approached me because I always looked at the background of who was asking, and typically it was uh, producers that perhaps didn't have any experience or wanted to make a name for themselves. And that, but Select Films was a little different because they had just done um, McFarlane USA. Uh, and they filmed that and they'd done Secretariat, Million Dollar Arm. So they specialize in motivational pictures. And I said, you know, this is the film house that where my story belongs. And when they approached me, I said, yeah, let's do it together. And, uh, and it was very easy to convince studios that this was a good project. And here we are with, uh, with Amazon and Prime Video, uh, where it gets released September 15th, and we're pretty excited. She is an awesome, awesome director. I mean, she just won Best Picture uh, in Mexico for another uh, Mexican-made movie. And so she is very, very talented. And man, she did a superb job in, uh, in finishing up the script and, uh, and, and basically portraying my whole effort of, uh, from being a migrant farm worker to getting selected. But not only did she, you know, she didn't make it about Jose. She made it about the fact that it was a community. It was a family effort to, that it had to take for me to get selected because without those, that help, there's no way I would have been able to make it. I mean, my dad's decision to stay in one place after Miss Young told him that we needed to stay in one place. My wife asking that profound question after the sixth rejection, I was ready to give up. What do they have that you don't have? And me not knowing the answer until I went and found it and then acquired those traits. I mean, all these things happen for real and uh, she portrayed it very nicely in the movie because uh, they deserve as much credit as I do. It was a community family effort to get me uh, selected. Well, I think Michael brought a lot in the sense that uh, he's a lot like me. I mean, he's a Mexican-American. You know, his uh, grandparents come from Mexico. And so he understands the pearls of a uh, immigrant, of a migrant. And uh, he understands the issues of having self-doubts, you know, maybe a verge on the verge of imposter syndrome and all these things. And I think he was able to get those feelings and emotions portrayed on the movie as I, as I went from being a migrant farm worker to getting selected to even training as an astronaut. You see those self-doubts and you see how he, he uh, wrestles with those demons and overcomes them and uh, is become successful. And so I think he brought a lot, a lot to the picture. It was interesting. It was like I was talking to myself, you know? Uh, but, but, you know, unfortunately when he got named, we were still in the pandemic. So we had a lot of Zoom, kind of like what you and I are doing right now. So he got to know me pretty well my my personality my sense of humor and i think he reflected that very well uh in the character once he's st we started filming and i'll tell you the one that stole the show i think was rosa salazar when i looked up on the screen uh personality wise i was seeing my wife up there and she did a superb job she spent a lot of time with my wife and so she nailed her to the t as well just like michael did People don't understand how fragile our world is with respect to the environment. You know, I was up there and you go around the world once every 90 minutes. Uh, one day I was, um, I wanted to enjoy a sunrise and the sun was coming above the earth's horizon and you wait for it for the right moment. You see the sun's rays hit the earth and the atmosphere where you're able to see the thickness of our atmosphere. And let me tell you, it's scary thin. It looks so delicately balanced. I became an instant environmentalist. I said, the environmentalists are correct down there that we should be good stewards 
of our planet because this delicate balanced ecosystem can be upset to the point where our atmosphere can escape into space if we're not careful. I mean, that's what they suspect happened to Mars. Mars has one, less than 1% 1 of density of our atmosphere, but they thought that at one point it used to have a full atmosphere, but because of some type of greenhouse effect, uh, it escaped. And the same thing can happen to ours. So this is when I promised myself when I saw that, I said, I'm gonna preach the good gospel of being environmentally responsible when we're down here and take care of our planet. So that's a long answer, but that's what I learned.